so now we are ready to finally take off so I'm gonna start it up the home point has been updated please check it on the map okay so gonna take off here all right so something else you must do is go into settings and make sure that the save original hyperlapse is flipped on and you save raw that is what's going to be the main contributor to you getting the best shots all right so this is going to be the first spot where i'm going to do the hyperlapse so the first thing you want to do is go into the hyperlapse feature and click on waypoint okay and then hit plus because i'm going to have a hyperlapse there now make sure that your movements are subtle but good so that's going to be the second spot aircraft is heading alright so now the aircraft is heading towards the first waypoint and when it gets there it's gonna do the hyperlapse and I'm gonna uh, just fast forward through it doing it um, from now Alright, so now um, it has been completed, where I'm going to go choose a, another location for a hyperlapse. I'm going to go in this one, I'm going to circle round this boat. I reckon this will look pretty nice. So I'll hit circle, okay. And I'm going to select that object there. Alright, so it's got that. And there we go, video link for 11 seconds. Uh, let's make it about five seconds. There we go. So this will be a shorter one. And hit go. And it's just checking how it needs to go around. And now it's gonna go. Alright, so there's another one done. And I'm going to do one video more synthesis completed. Battery. This one I'm going to come back for direction, hit go, and this is just going to be a short video and it's going to go home. There. So as you see, I hit the pause button, and then we're going to hit the X, and it's still it's going to save it. And while it does that, I video synthesis completed. Bring it home. So, so now that you have shot your hyperlapse, sorry, I have to turn my phone on silent. You can actually go into Lightroom or any other app that supports this, and import all those files so I've got my um, files here and I'm going to hit command A to select all the files 
So all the files are selected and then hit import. So how to do that was there's this little import button down there and you just import all those files. So now all those files are going to be importing. So mine did that super quickly because I've already used this before. But we're going to go and into the first file and into develop. So go up here to develop and open the first file. Now this file you're going to edit um, over here. Now mine has already been edited which is why it has this awesome looking color as you can see. So after that's all done you just go so go into the library again and you can copy all the settings from the one photo onto all of them just by going shift, um, shift command C and it brings this up <clears throat> hit copy and then hit command A again to select all of them and then shift command B and it's going to paste all the settings. Mine have already been all done obviously so I don't need to do that. So the next step is going into Premiere Pro so I'll let that boot up and see you in a second. Boot it up. I'm going to call this one YT for YouTube Hyperlapse. Okay and hit OK. So it's going to bring this up and import media to start and the last, this one, hit this and then hit options, image sequence, import. What that's going to do is bring up a short little video, drag and drop it into the sequence and once you've done that you can go up to effects up here and you're going to search up for the warp stabilizer. Now when that pops up you're going to grab it and drag it and drop it onto your clip and when that's done we will do the export and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to export it so go to file, hit export, media, we'll wait for that to pop up. So that's popped up, here it is, um, you can play through it check it's alright and the codec you want to do it in is the H.265 that's what I shot it in so that's going to give you the full 4k resolution and match your spit rate yep da -da -da -da, all done and then use maximum render quality hit export and that could take a little while but once that's done um, just drop it into your timeline, it'll be saved to your desktop or wherever else you choose to save it and you'll be off. So I hope this was um, a good video, like and subscribe, just stick around, I'll have amazing drone videos, um, camera photography, if you've got anything you want to know, leave it down below, I will be able to answer it. So yeah, just give me any ideas, like and subscribe and until next time, have a good day, night, wherever you are, so.